From the fractionation tower feed line to the coke drum, refiners are maximizing drum capacity with a turnkey coker control solution. The thermoscientific foam level and interface detection system combines neutron backscatter technology with continuous gamma level and gamma density to give refiners the critical real-time process data necessary to effectively monitor the coking process and improve profitability. Monitoring the fractionation tower feed line is a critical first step. Normally located prior to the feed line heaters, the thermoscientific density pro is a gamma density gauge that measures the stability of the process feeds. It also enables the output to be fed to a flow meter to achieve mass flow. This mass flow can then be used to perform the mass balance calculation. Fresh feed, recycle streams, and other inputs add to the complexity of the level control in the fractionation tower. The Thermoscientific Level Pro is a non-contacting, continuous gamma level gauge that uses energy attenuation for precision. Due to the importance of this level control, refiners use redundant Level Pro detectors to monitor these volatile process conditions. The Level Pro is also a key component of the thermoscientific coke drum monitoring system. A radioactive source is mounted on the vessel with a corresponding detector mounted opposite from the source. The detector sends a signal and then measures the amount of energy which is inversely proportional to the level of the material. For maximum foam over prevention, 24 feet of continuous gamma level from the tangent line is recommended. Maintaining the 0.5% accuracy of the Level Pro requires vapor density compensation. The Density Pro performs this density measurement using the same gamma source as the Level Pro. Without vapor density compensation, refiners can inadvertently experience up to a 10% level measurement error. At the heart of this coking control system is the Thermoscientific Krill Pro. A 100 millicurie americium beryllium source mounted inside the instrument directs high energy or fast neutrons through the vessel wall. The fast neutrons quickly transition to thermal neutrons with some collected by the helium-3 detector. A picoamp current is then generated which is amplified to produce an isolated 420 milliampere output signal proportional to the product's density. By observing this output Operators know the density and type of material present at each point in the drum. During each stage of the coking cycle, process conditions must be continuously monitored. The charts represent Thermoscientific Krill Pro Neutron Backscatter Technology in action. As the drum fills, the coke and foam rise independently and at differing speeds. The Krill Pro indicates the density of the material at various levels, including wet and dry coke, as well as light, medium, and heavy foam. Near the end of the cycle, the operator receives real-time, specific density measurement of the foam and coke material. In this drum fill sequence, the chart represents how the thermoscientific level pro continuous gamma level gauge monitors the level of the foam front, providing insight on when and how much anti-foam to use. As the cycle nears the end, operators have a virtual bird's eye view of the foam level within the coke drum. This precise information on the height of the foam front late in the coking cycle is essential to improving drum utilization and avoiding costly foam over conditions. Continuous level in combination with neutron backscatter also provides a redundant indication of when the water quench is complete, signifying that it is safe to open the drum. With the thermoscientific coker hybrid solution, operators have a clear picture of process changes inside the coke drum, ensuring greater coke output per cycle and improved overall cycle time. 
Combine these process efficiencies with a reduction in the use of anti-foam agents and rapid payback is assured. Thermoscientific instrumentation, giving you the insight.